We're back, and we're better than ever here. This is the Outcast Podcast. So happy that we're here for yet another episode. We're up in the hundreds. I can't even tell you what number we're on because we've done so many damn episodes. That's a lot. Of <laughs> 103, I think. This is 103? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, okay. That number's yeah. been popping up for me lately. What you going to play? Are you going to play them numbers tonight? 103? I should. Get I don't the play midday. lottery, though. Get the midday. Turn my sound. Okay. Turn your sound. What do you got? Oh, no. I think you popped a boner. Okay. We're oh, good. Oh. Yeah. Oh, now, yeah, good yeah, thing. Yeah. Now we can start the show now that yeah. we have your boner sound. Yeah, yeah. Right. that was just right. the first button yeah. can I pushed. Can we get a poop joke, too, while you're yeah, at it there, 12-year-old? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are we, Morgan to Morgan? <laughs> this episode is being brought to you by Liquid IV. Of hey. course, we stay hydrated, and we get all the minerals and vitamins the body needs from our friends at Liquid IV. If you want to save some money, go to liquidiv.com and use our promo code when you check out it's Outcast, because that's us. We're the Outcast Podcast. Yeah, we are. Uh, we do have a brown man. We have a black man and a white man. They Sorry. all walk in to do a podcast, and this is what you get. Let's do some blow. We'll start with the brown man. Where is the brown man? Let's put him up oh, on the screen. Oh, What's shit. going on? Out of border. How you doing? Is. What's up, brown man? <laughs> all, I, 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 brown, I'm, brown. Hey, yeah, 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 I'm legal. I've been legal. How's everything going? Totally wrong, Brown. Everything's good, fam. How about you? I'm doing really good, man. You Gucci? It's great to see you. Uh, we've got... Uh, We're ready to make us do some shit we don't want to do? Yep. The white like man it. is here. What's <laughs> going on, white man? What does your shirt say? What's Perfect your shirt song. say, Tomcat? You, you got to give him the old razzle dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? I don't know, but there's a cat, so I like it. Yeah, exactly. Kitty! He is Tomcat. It made me laugh cat. when I saw it, so I bought it. I and like kitties. And we have, yeah, uh, we I pet them. The blackest berry of them all. <laughs> and the, they say the, the black of the berry. Too, baby. The juice is sweet. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yes, Skirplunk. Shut up. Looking, yeah, looking good. Off. You had a late he night. Did a, he did want to do the R. Kelly album for I our did. Next, I, I for think it's a podcast. good idea. I, I really do. I, I really think it's a good idea. I knew that, that album was is up. amazing. We had a conversation on our last podcast, uh, which is, we do vinyl albums called Them Vinyl Boys. Yes. Check it out. Check from, it out. Like yeah, and cross subscribe, reference. Like and but subscribe. We were arguing, not arguing, but debating whether we should do R. Kelly for our next album. Yeah. I'm telling you. What I do think, you guys think? I, I think we should do it. Because, you know, I can separate him from his music. Like, his music is a genius. His nasty. He's crazy what as hell. Do just say? But <laughs> you heard that shit. Look, That's I say we should do R. Kelly's 12 play because that album is amazing. If you haven't heard it, you got to check it out. That's and four that should play be our next uh, Final Boys episode cross reference. My, pro Sorry, Gene, my problem is uh, my problem is that uh, before dudes sitting around listening to you know bump and grind, I got a real problem with that. <laughs> wait a minute! We, we, wait, we a minute wait a minute! Wait a minute! Nobody got any boner pills. Grind. What, what you got to get some bump and grind? <laughs> bump and grind. What are, gonna, what are we gonna do? Keep it on the down low? We're not gonna let anybody know. Oh, uh, well, right. you know, that's, I mean, that's up to your discretion. I might be sick next week. You no. can't handle the truth. Oh, knock it let's off. Uh, let's get into uh, some of our topics that we have coming up. We have the dumbest cop ever. There's oh, also a, nice. a video game that we've been waiting a decade for that we're going to yes. talk about coming up. Is it uh, Punch Out? Nope. Even oh. better than Larry that. the Lounge Lizard. Uh, nope. Excite Bike. <laughs> I loved Excite Ooh, Bike. That sounds fun. Yeah, Hell yeah. Remember Excite Bike? I do. Man, I haven't the played that in forever. Paper Boy. Holy shit. Yeah. Man, the Zelda. Zelda. Oh, the let's talk about it. Zelda's fun. Yeah, yeah. We'll also talk about the NBA All-Star Game. The ratings are mm -hmm. in. Do we, do we think the ratings are up? Are they down in the All-Star Game? Probably we'll down. Talk about that. Also, Killer Mike, who just walked away with some Grammys and walked away in handcuffs. Yeah. He he was on uh, one of the talk shows and he made a pretty uh, bold statement. Hot take. We'll talk about his hot, hot take. take. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Donald Donald Trump has some brand new sneakers. Would you cop a pair? We'll talk, oh, talk yeah. about boom. Oh, right. Sporting them bitches right now. And uh, what else do we have on the list? And it was President's Day. If we get to it, we'll talk about our our favorite presidents. Uh, but first, this was Tomcat's idea. We are, are kind of morphing a theme song for the Outcast podcast. And we really wanted to see what chat GPT and uh, artificial intelligence could do for write, writing us a theme song. So we typed in a few things and told uh, our supercomputer here at the studio a little bit about our show. And then it spit out these lyrics. 
And uh, now we have an official theme song. So we're going to try to record it live. I mean, this is uh, live radio. We okay, are we'll like live, live, live right now. We'll like, do it live. Fuck this it. is live, live, live. It's like, gonna right. be terrible, everybody. Hey, speak for yourself, Jack. Man. No, I can rap. Dude. I'm com- well, I can we'll rap. Find out. I'm talking about everybody else. Okay, uh, this this particular song has uh, two verses. Uh, it's got uh, one hook, one bridge, and an outro. So I'll take verse one. We'll all sing the hook. Tomcat, you jump on verse two. Woo! excited we're gonna throw it to memphis on the bridge and yeah. and then rainbow g you will be the caboose fucking outro you'll be bringing it home thank you uh, this is a uh, network debut this is a world premiere world, world premiere. premiere first time you've ever heard this this is the outcast podcast <laughs> theme song coming to you live terrible here we go we'll do it live fuck it all right here we go let me get it ready and uh here is the beat this is a beat produced by our very own Tomcat Beats. Mm, yeah. It's the Outcast theme song. If you don't know, Better now you know. Yeah. Talk to him, son. Yeah. Talk to him. Yes, Gentry, Tomcat, Memphis, Raymo G, four voices in the mix, radio's new spree, four corners of the world where cultures collide, big radio stars with nothing to hide, diverse as the beats that bump in the night, disagree on the daily, but one thing we unite, good weed is the creed in high supply, the outcast podcast the where the truth supply. We're, we're not as cool as we think, revives unique to <laughs> 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 My girl made, made the beat, beat for the drop in a heat non-stop <laughs> from the what city the, What Ooh. the fuck just happened to my song? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pick up verse I two. I wanted to Tom. do it in a high voice. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, all right. All right. Pick up verse two. All right. Ready. Very high. Go. Go, Tomcat. <laughs> Engaging conversations. Never miss a beat. Taking life, music, the streets, and the heat. Mm. Raymo G with the jokes, keeping the vibe light. Memphis with the stories from morning till night. Mm. Tomcat's the thinker, philosopher, and kind. Gentry's got the insights that'll blow your mind. <laughs> Different backgrounds, but the same soundtrack. The Outcast podcast where we don't hold back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we clash like titans of pains in the storm, but find pieces and a leaf where, where our truths are born. Head? Broadcasting waves reaching every shore. The Outcast podcast, what you've been waiting for. Uh, Bitches! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Ray tune in, Ray. light up, let your mind be free with Gentry, TK, and Rainbow G. Got my boy Memph <laughs> in the house doing his thing. Big stars on the radio, setting your speaker a glow. The Outcast Podcast, baby. Now you're part of the show. Can we do yeah, the hook again? Yeah, that, the you know hook was saying? great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We totally fucked yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, you want. All right, there we go. All right. One, two. Oh, we're going to really do, do it? No. no. We're not we're as cool as we think, but our vibes are unique. Different, different, different streets, streets ain't beat it. And the ones on the street, my boy. I'm shutting off everybody's mic. Thank you. I'm trying to read this. I think we need to work on it. I told you that. Hey, but you know what? Not I'm bad for a first. This is a that first. Was this is a first. This is a first draft. You know, that was funny. Yeah, first one out the that gate. You know, what I mean, we did it on the fly. That's we true professionals. Who was it? That? that was written by artificial intelligence. Yeah, it was. I don't like AI. That was actually that was the most though. intelligent part about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry. Oh, right, let's go from one dumb thing to another. Okay. I like it. There we do it. How about uh, <laughs> we have a dumb police officer? Oh, uh, this is uh, one not not too many days ago, just a couple days ago. This is a body worn camera footage that we have. It was released. It shows a Florida deputy who's mistaking a fallen acorn of all things. It struck. You know when an acorn hits like the top of your, <laughs> yeah, and it's, top of your car and it goes dink. He thought it was yeah. a bullet hitting a hitting a cruiser. Yeah. Really? Info, info. Yeah. So he, he all of a sudden we have the footage, but once he hears this sound. He drops to the ground looking like Paul Blart, and the, from, the mall from cop. From what I understand, he ends up shooting his own suspect who's in the car. He's in his what? car. He lights what? up his own car and shoots the guy who he has arrested who's sitting in the car. Great that police work there, Lou. That is Florida thing to yeah, do. Yeah. Can we wow. roll, roll the tape? Yeah, roll that beautiful bean footage. Here's the footage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell is he just... He rolling downhill, man. Look at this. Now he's getting ready to shoot. Boom. Fire. Shots fired. Shoots his own car to shit. Because the, cause the shot's got to be coming from out of his own car. What the fuck is he doing? Low info idiot. Nope. 
He's laying on the ground what? like he's taking all kind of different look, prong positions. He's laying on he's his side. He's reloading. Look, he about to reload. Is, he, is he's crawling? He what got another clip. He? Did he get hit? No, he's not hit. But listen. But but listen, in his defense, I will say, man, that's a hard ass job. And if I think somebody's shooting at me, I'm going to fucking drip. Okay, okay, calm down, Tom. Kay. Yes, yeah. please, calm Fucking down. Fucking roll! <laughs> calm down, calm down. Yeah. Somebody's throwing acorns! <laughs> this motherfucker, he was like, he was looking like he was in a doggone one of them video games and shit, laying on the concrete, shooting sideways. He knew, man, he, he look, I'm glad. Well, I hope I'm they just fired his punk ass. why he thought his own car was attacking him. Right, that's, the person, uh, so, let's, wait a minute, the suspect, <laughs> whoever is in the goddamn back seat, Lawsuit. Is in the back seat Lawsuit. and he shoots up the goddamn car with the person. Oh, listen! I hope they fire his How do you punk shoot the ass. Outside of the car from the Who inside of the car. Who do you think he's calling them first? Morgan and Morgan or uh, 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 he's Benjamin the biggest, Crump? Yeah, yeah. Somebody <laughs> getting to him first. Yeah, man, they about to shut that police department down. <laughs> you, Dumb look, ass I, cop. I'll say it. That's stupid. Look, back as I can remember, they I need to be trained be better. Gangster. Yes, they that, do, that's man. That's all you can say. That's, that's, a little, that's some that, old pussy shit, you man. You got to be trained better than that. He, that. I mean, he could have killed that person in, the, in that car. And, and how would they explain that to his family? Like, think about it. How would they be probably to like explain this. that to his family? <laughs> Oops. Oops. Show that beautiful bean footage. Right. <laughs> like, fuck that, man. It was an like, acorn, ma'am. Yeah. That's the shit you want me to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, that we got shit attacked. that pissed People me got, off. I don't like that shit. We got attacked by an oak tree. Yeah, a motherfucking you, acorn fall and hit your ass and you <laughs> roll on the goddamn ground like you and a, a damn clown there, and there's shit. There's a part at the end of that video where there's a person next to him that's like, are you okay? And yeah. he's like, yeah! <laughs> he's trying to reach. Did you see him crawl? He low crawling and shit. <laughs> All on the concrete with his gun, low crawling like motherfucker. Go join the army. Oh man, weak ass. I have some of the facts from the story. It says here that the deputy responded to a theft call. He patted down and handcuffed and secured the suspect. Put them in the back of the patrol car. Uh, the victim was the suspect's girlfriend. She showed up responding to deputies, and uh, she showed a photo of the suspect holding a silencer, suggesting that he may have had a firearm. Oh. But if it had a silencer on it, you wouldn't have heard it. You know, well, like, he, like he, but he's in custody. I think he though. thought he heard the bullet hit the cruiser because when an acorn would hit the top of your cruiser, it might sound like a bullet hitting your cruiser from. A, now, if he thinks there's a silencer, you wouldn't hear the report from the gun. You would just hear the bullet punk hit the cruiser. So it's in a, his mind, maybe. Right, but 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 right? here's maybe. but here's the thing. Who the fuck is in but, the back of the car? But why shoot the cruisers, Michael? That's what I'm saying. I would somebody, be shooting the tree there's line. Somebody, it, listen, <laughs> Anyways, I'm not trying to second guess this guy. The Obviously, it's the hardest job in the under world. Arrest. And thank God for thank God for the men the and women who in do uniform. It, yes. Who do it, but they need more training. Yeah. No, I mean, they need to be. Well, no, they need yeah. to re, they redo need more, it all over. That, that, that right there, that. that yeah, that, I, got, no, I have to agree with that. That's what I'm like. That, that. Like, man, fuck. Listen. He about guys, there may fired. be acorns out there. Like, like he unloaded it. Like it twice, wasn't even though. like he popped and didn't notice nobody he, else was shooting back. Like he emptied dude. the clip twice. I think you, I think you may have hit it, Ramo. Yeah. He probably should have assessed the situation before firing little, all of the bullets little, that he had. A little bit, just just a hair. Just hold I on. I gotta shoot every damn bullet I got on me, and then I'll check things out. <laughs> he was after counting. That. He was counting clips like. Like one, two, three. Yeah, right, man, good. man, fuck that. No. That's dangerous. I don't, I don't, That's yeah, dangerous. I don't like that shit. That's dangerous. I guess the biggest thing is what can we <laughs> learn from this moving forward? Like what to cops, you know, you hear a sound, uh, you can't be quick on the trigger finger. Luckily, no one got seriously hurt during this. And uh, no No one got shot? I don't, I don't yeah, believe. somebody got shot. The I, dude I, I in the back seat in handcuffs. He probably got. Uh, he probably got hit. Uh, the handcuffed oh, suspect in, inside the car was not struck. Not struck oh, okay, by okay, great, okay, great. Good, Sorry good, about good. that. Well, good. Well, either way, he's still suing the ass because he was in a goddamn car. He what about got the, hit? What about he those shit, brake he probably, lights? He, he pretty definitely shit his pants. And you know it. He, <laughs> think he's, I'm at just in the back of the damn police car. At one point in time, Start we all been in the back of one. And next thing you know, the police car you sitting in. And you hear some go ping ping. You're like, what the fuck Shot is that? The like, these are fucking somebody shooting up this shit. goddamn car while I'm in it. <laughs> and then you find out the person drives the car is shooting at the car with you in it. That's comical. Oh no. Oh no. This is oh, going no. national viral. Oh, Florida man, folks. Well, that that video is viral. Yeah, is that's oh, where yeah. Yeah. we usually see them once they're already viral. That's a very and that's Florida local, thing huh? to do. Oh, wow. Yes, it is. Except for that naked guy one. That was mine. That was you, huh? That was all you. Oh, yeah. I'm not. Hmm. Did he, did he come from your house? 
Let's move on to our next topic. Uh, Killer Mike has been making big Ooh. headlines by Mike. winning Grammys. He I also uh, made headlines for assaulting a security guard at the Grammys and Bruh. left That's what they left say. with some handcuffs. But uh, he said that all of his heroes have uh, been in handcuffs, so why not him? And he was on <laughs> one of the shows, and during a recent interview, he said something uh, that has a lot of people talking. If we can, roll the tape from the truck. This is Killer Mike here. The view. I'm not hearing anything. You're going to have to look uh, like the t- breakfast turn club. your audio on. Uh, do you have the audio on the video? Uh, we'll have to it check. It looked like see a clip why. from the breakfast club. Uh, we he said well, audio. Here it is. Do we have it? That's when it comes to marriage. You should marry a black woman. Mm-hmm. Because who's going to understand me like a black woman? Mm-hmm. Who going who gonna to understand <laughs> that's not my him pain, talking. my that's strife, my struggle? No, who's going to understand culturally that's him talking. That's him. how important it is for my black children to be proud to be black. Even when she didn't birth these children, she's still their mother. Nobody's going to do that like a black woman. Yeah. Nobody's going to. Mm-hmm. And, and that's not putting down other people, but that's say before you criticize me now. Yeah. I'm going to look at your life decisions. Yeah. And if you, if your, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if your life decisions didn't bring you to a black woman, then a lot of the shit you say might not be that's a credit right. to me. So I got a critic. You know, I got a critic. Of, yeah, I know this nigga don't like me. That's right. I know this nigga don't like me. <laughs> I don't act like this nigga like me. You know what I'm saying? This nigga been accused of all kind of fucked up shit. But when I seen that nigga, wife oh yeah. when i see this again i'm putting so when i say you i married a black woman while t williams said let's let's roll the tape back from the beginning because we missed the beginning part what did he how did he start there's only one case he agreed with in terms of segregation and people were like well what is that because you've been free thinking you're over here writing conservatives and he says that's when it comes to marriage you should marry a black woman mm-hmm. because who's gonna understand me like a black woman mm. who gonna who gonna understand my pain, my strife, my struggle. Who's going to understand culturally how important it is for my black children to be proud to be black? Even when she didn't birth these children, she's still their mother. Nobody's going to do that like a black woman. Yeah. Nobody. So this is uh, Killer Mike on the uh, Breakfast Club. Yeah, it was Breakfast Club. I do, like. I do have yeah. a friend of mine, Jay Van, who has been married to a, he's a black guy who has been married to a black woman. And then he got a divorce and he married a, a white woman. And he was opening up to me a few months ago and saying that, he really hated the way people in his neighborhood, in his community, treated him. Because as, since he married a white woman, they have tried to strip him of his credibility, he feels as though, like, as if he, he can't stand on what he thinks in the black community because he married a white woman. And he seemed pretty upset by it when he was opening up to, uh, I think Tomcat was around too when he was doing it. And uh, just seems like we've come so far that people wouldn't be saying these type of things. And this guy just won Grammy Awards, and uh, you know, people respect his opinion, so that's why we're listening to him. But I just uh, think that maybe there's some ignorance there because I, I feel like if you fall in love with somebody, you shouldn't be falling in love with them just strictly because of a, a certain color. It's my opinion. Anybody else got an opinion on it? Tom Cap. He's black. <laughs> That's all you got to say? I didn't say anything. I don't know. It, it kind of sounded dumbass. like you. No, it wasn't. Oh, did you hit it? He's black. I think that's What just- I got to say is this. <laughs> if you do what you want to do, you want to stay day within your race, great. But I don't think you should look down on other people for loving who they love. So there's that. <laughs> that's it. That's all I'll say. I'd have to say I'm pretty much on board. Same with thing that. with white folks. Yeah, Same every, thing with everybody. You know, every, if you want to day with them in yeah. your race, great. But don't go, you know, uh, looking at people. Uh, it, like, everybody has their, how you feel. Whatever makes you happy, do. But don't like like Tomcat saying whatever somebody I, else I, does. I, allow them to be happy in doing that as well. And when you reach out because and start telling everybody it. else who to love, right. then you are you're just who are you? Who are you to tell other people? How to, who to love, who to allow to raise their children. What's right for you is not you know. right for everybody. Right. Or, you know. Well, I, I, I understand say, what he's saying. As someone that's in a, in an interracial marriage, I get what he's saying. Sure, I hear what he's saying. I get, I get, I get what he's saying and why he's saying it. I right. I totally understand that. Sure. However, you know, I guess I've I haven't I have never nobody has never ch- like stepped to me. Or my wife about our union, you know, maybe because people know how we are, you know, we like we don't give a shit. It's me and her. We ride or die. <laughs> That's how you know? Dirty Red is but, with his wife. I yeah. know them very well, and they are they're like peas in a pod. They're like Batman and Robin. They those two are meant for each other. So you know, it's an interracial relationship. But yeah. I don't really see that. You know, I'm sure they don't see it. But you know, so 
And uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I kind of get. Look, I totally understand <clears throat> what he's saying. That there are things that black people will understand about raising their own children. Absolutely. You know, I get that. It's also like, but our culture is so intertwined now. It's kind it, of it hard really to. Is. It really is. I think I like there is a lot of ignorance on on all sides because you have sure. Asians that don't want to to sure. marry outside the race sure. and, and Latin in Latin. A hundred percent, they do that. So it's 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 prejudice in in, in all cultures. But listen, agreed. Whoever, Isn't the way whoever, to get rid of that though to allow people to. Have families together to love. Eventually, they say that love eventually, breaks that's down what all happens. walls and barriers. Sure. Well, and you, if you allow people sure. to just love and they usually, procreate, that, that's that, a that will that, that, uh, help, I like help to usually, a lot of Usually, if you have kids, your kids usually kind of go to the people that you most dislike. Usually, they have a relationship with someone like, that you most dislike, or that you I think try a, I to. I think a lot of fathers can agree with that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> just people a lot of in general dads out there. Yeah. Yeah. They always bring <laughs> home that kid that you you were like. like Listen, <laughs> my son's cool. I, I mean, whoever, I the, whoever the universe send to you, that's and that's and regardless of she could be from your neighborhood, she could be from the suburbs, she could be from another country, or he yeah. whoever. That's who you, whatever that makes you happy brings you that joy and peace and happiness and that person that you can build a life with and not force and ah. it's natural. <laughs> then that's you, you won because listen, there are more people in this world right now that are like pick me's and they're looking for something. They want somebody to come home to every day. You know what I'm saying? You if your if your mate is white, black. Or whatever, it don't matter. you know what I mean. It's Muslim, and you Winning. you a fucking uh, um, Jew. So what? So I'm what? Muslim, he said. Yeah, yeah like so what? The what heart, what the about uh, getting looks when you're out? Because I have a friend of mine who, who, shit. who we all know uh, who plays ball with us. He married a black woman. He's a white Jewish guy from New York, and he Ugh, cl- he claims no, when kidding. he go- when he goes out <laughs> when he goes out with uh, his wife, sometimes he he gets looks and. He, he can feel like, uh, just feel people staring at him. Like, I would like, tell him, like, look here, man. For real, for real. Look, where my camera? Right here. I'm like, look, fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I agree. You would, you would, that's your lady. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You be proud to stand with her. She proud to stand by you. Those people and are probably, the, those people are probably other, other white dudes that are like, jealous. Yeah. Uh, some of them jealous, like, oh, she's a, no, they're like, giving him the thumbs up. They're like, yeah. Like, oh, she's a race traitor or all that other bullshit. Or, <laughs> oh, man, you ain't yeah, black know enough the or whatever. Like, you lost your black heart. Motherfucker, right. please. I will bust your head. I like, think, for real. Like, I'm still I don't, I don't think white people are like that. I think if, if uh, other white people seen a white guy with a black woman, they're, they're, they're thinking that, that guy that guy's got it. He's nah, I, I think he's, he's, he pulled I'm a that chick. I'm, I'm a disagree he with must, that. He must in, have it. In some communities, but I think that goes in both ways. Like, in some communities... Inter- interracial relationships are just fine in a lot of families. Mm-hmm. Most families now, I would even argue that it's really not that big a deal. I but I'm pretty generation. sure you can find on all I'm sides sure. there are certain sects <laughs> that do not look fondly upon it. In oh, the, absolutely. In, in, and the never Jewish, in the Jewish community, I have a Jewish guy friend and a girl friend who's Jewish, and both of them tell me that their parents push on them only Mar- Jewish people. Marry a nice young Jewish, Jewish boy. Yeah. Marry boy a nice, get a nice young Jewish man. Go get some of this dog you know, meat, girl. The the one oh, thing about it's not kosher. I, Jewish yeah, it's all right. we Jewish put families. Little, is, we they, put a little seasoning on ours. They do have a lot of traditions, <laughs> and like so, they would be accustomed to their each. We're you would be. Assholes. They want somebody who's accustomed yeah, to their are. traditions, maybe because they do. Like, especially during Hanukkah and shit like that. Right. Hanukkah? You got to bring Hanukkah. somebody in. You got to teach them all your traditions and shit, where I would think that might I mean, be kind of cool. fun. That's, yeah, I mean, it's cool. You want to learn you about would... each other's backgrounds and sure. stuff like that, because if you're going to be a blended family, but you think everybody you know, else? You, and you have children, you, you got to think about that. You know, you have kids, you know? I just... Uh, what? I, I, I enjoy being in a interracial relationship. Like, oh, hey! Uh, oh, our no. races aren't like that far apart. She's, you know, Italian mostly. I'm Hispanic, Puerto Rican, 100%. So, I mean, we're different, but not extremely different. But I'm a huge fan of the food and the culture. And she is as well, you know, on the yeah. other side. And I think we kind of celebrate each other and our kids enjoy it and 
Hello. Yeah, and that's you what know, it's procreated all about, man. with. Two she, white women. You show so. her the tacos, she showed you the hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that goes? Boom. Oh, wait a minute. Boom. It's backwards. American. Oh, a. Let's uh, move on oh, to something God. new. Tortillas. <laughs> There's a football <laughs> game Pasta. that we've all been waiting for, at least most of us. The yes. countdown is on for the first major college football video game to come uh, out in more wait. than a decade. If you used to play the college football game back in the day, you know what you are, have been missing the last 10 years. I love playing the EA Sports. Yes. It's in the game. game. It's in the game. game. The college football games were great. The pageantry of the teams. And there was a problem because the players uh, got upset. I think they wanted to get paid. I, I think it was yeah, they, Ed Bannon was the uh, Ed, UCLA. Ed O'Bannon, Ed O'Bannon yeah. the UCLA player. Yeah, he was who, badass too. He filed a suit uh, to where, you know, the, I used to play the game and I liked playing at one point with the Gators when it had Tim Tebow because he was unstoppable on the game. You knew it was Tim Tebow on the screen. It said number 15. 15 yep. You were a left-handed quarterback for the Gators, but they never identified Tebow. And I once interviewed Tim, and he told me never got a dollar from that, never got a dollar from his jersey sales uh, at the games. Never. I mean, he, he did pretty well for himself. But a lot of these players, they used their name and likeness in these video games for all these years, and the players couldn't get paid well, now we all know that the rules have changed. So now the game is going to come out, and the players, if they're going to use their likeness, they will get paid, which is going to be exciting, not only for us as fans to play the game, but also for the student-athletes that are going to get paid. We nice. do have a clip here of the video game. That look like the Rose Bowl, man. Here we go. Roll it. That this is a Rose Bowl. Te- teaser for the game. Coming back, baby. Okay. Got something special for y'all. And we just got pulled from Little YouTube. Update no, I'm just for our fans from the big house to the bayou. From Carolina to California. I'll get in the yeah. jerseys ready. It's about college football. Yes, sir. We know you love it. Us too. The rivalries. The comebacks. The traditions and superstitions built by generations. There's nothing like it. Turns out, we've been building too. Oh, 2020, 2025. I heard oh, it's is that Neyland Stadium I just saw? Oh, shit. Yeah. Go Vols, baby. Posts, the predictions, the doubts. Game ain't coming out this year. It's been a minute. Yeah, we've been talking shit because they've been teasing it. Let's just say, this ain't the only jersey we've been working on. Oh, they're oh that's badass, man. Game this sport deserves. Oh, hell yeah. Because pretty soon, this place will be full again. Damn, I can't wait to not Until play then. that. <laughs> you, you, Cue that's the crowd okay. Noise. <laughs> we won't miss you. Cue the crowd noise. Here it comes. Yeah, it's really happening. Hell College yeah, football. Boy, I'm so excited. College football 2025. I guess it's coming out this summer. I mean, we're, t- we're, yes. we're talking only like five, six months away. The game should be coming. Hell out. yeah! It'd be so right, 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 right on right time for Christmas uh, for um college football season. Start. You think it'll come before? Oh yeah. So if it's in the summertime, yeah. Hmm. So the season kicks off in what late August, something like that. So yeah. probably like J- uh, July, maybe early September. Yeah. Oh man, look, look! Now I got to find some time to do that. You popped a boner. So you won't I play might've. the game, TK? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I hate those sports games. Why? Well, I used to He's like no the, old one, the old yeah, one, the old one, the old basketball game. He's on fire. That one I fucking love. Uh, the one where you go to the NBA corner and shoot the three, the three pointer all day and it never yeah. misses. Well, the, no, the one where they get on fire and they go down. And then they have yeah, the big heads NBA and Jam. shit. That one I like. Yeah, that was. Fun. He's but on fire. Yeah. Listen, I got tormented since I was a kid with Madden. My fucking friends <laughs> had Madden. I wanted to play Altered Beast. They wanted to play Madden, Altered and Beast it all started shit. there. And ever since then, I've had to sit for hours and watch them play Madden. I got next. I got next. I what about uh, Tech Mobile? You never played Hell no Tech Mobile? Tech Mobile. Yeah. Oh, man. I remember it. That was a good one. Ready. Bo down. Jackson. Hood, 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 hood. hood. The, yeah. But sports games all kind of like end up being the same thing. You're just trying to like move up and down the field until you can get into the end zone. Yeah. It's called uh, sports. Com- competition. Sports. Yeah. yeah. I know, but yeah, other, but the other video games, cooler. the boards, you do more stuff. It's kind of the same thing, only you jump and fl- run and throw things, but you go other places. Like Ninja Guided. So it's more fun. But sports games, you're just kind of in this little box. Run, double jump, dribble. Run, jump. Remember, double, double dribble. dribble. Yeah. 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 I used to play game. with the, uh, the Chicago team. Yeah. They were good. Remember the slow the slow motion dunk when you be able to dunk mm-hmm. and they go and replay? Like, damn. Or when you miss it, bang. 
Well, let's talk some more, one more sports story here before we wrap up our sports talk. The NBA All-Star Game took place this past weekend. And Did it. Some people are complaining that they need to change the, the game and that the players aren't trying. And uh, we had a huge score. I don't know if you saw the final score. It was 211. There he is, Birdman. To 186. 211 points scored by the East. And they beat the West uh, 211 see, 186. See, that shot's not fake. The shot they do from the corner that there was in real life. <laughs> so all they're doing is just taking jump shots. Nobody's playing defense at, at all. all. It's terrible. Like I wouldn't even waste my money. It's just it, don't like the video like game. Game. it don't look like all the people in the stands, or is they got the lights. They dark. turned the lights off. This was in uh, Indianapolis. Uh, one note: uh, you mentioned Larry Bird, him and uh, the player from uh, Jason Tatum from the Boston Celtics. He met Larry Bird for the from first time from St. Louis. Yeah, and uh, of course Indianapolis, home of the Pacers, <coughs> home, home of Larry Bird. There, uh, where he's from Indiana, although he French played Lake. for Boston. Lake. Yeah, but I th- I thought some of the festivities were exciting. The dunk contest was eh. It's not like the good old days in no, the dunk contest. Never will be again. But the good news for the NBA is the ratings were actually up this year. Now, not as good as they used to be back in the nineties. Definitely and, not. I mean, the greatest All Star game I thought was nineteen ninety two. When Magic Johnson uh, had been out because he announced that he had Eight. HIV and he yeah. had AIDS. Oh, and, yeah, that's and, when he came back. And then oh, he, the good old days. He came back and they let him play in the All-Star game. And I remember it was a big deal. Like Some people were thinking, oh, well, what happens if he bleeds on uh, Michael Jordan or something? What happens, right, right, right. What happens if they that. run? And, and all the players, uh, it was nice to see when they were playing. Back in those days, you know, HIV was really scary. It still mm-hmm. is. Fuck but yeah. to have this guy out here competing... And uh, in the 90s, they still competed. But it, they, they weren't even worried about getting HIV back in those days in the 90s. They're like, let's get out here and let's play and let's And compete. that's when the NBA was the NBA, when they could knock on your oh, ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. They were definitely falling back. Yeah, right? they whooped but, your ass back in the day. In all reality. <laughs> Don't go to the hole, motherfucker. Hep C was probably a much bigger like brand damn. threat. Ah, probably for syphilis. Everyone. Well, oh, if you're yeah. banging and you're exchanging blood and shit, Hep C's. Like, Good Lord. They probably one. what kind of sadistic shit are you into? All the a booty lot of people have it. All yeah. the booty those guys are getting, they probably yeah. a lot of had some Pepsi. You know? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they got all kind of clap. We were talking about Unless a, we were talking about a wrestler that idea. used to cut his head back in the day. Jeter was telling me he'd cut his Ab- head. Abdul the butcher. And he ended right. up Abdul the butcher. just to make it look more real. And then he ended up cutting this other guy's head. And that guy sued his ass because he got Hep C and he said he got it from the razor that Abdul right. sure. had uh, the cut butcher. him on. He did, yeah. yeah. Su- sued him for two and a half million dollars. So the Hep C shit's everywhere. Damn. Well, be careful. Especially on your head. Keep it in my pants. Yeah, talk Mm -hmm. about it. A lot of people are saying they should change the All Star Game. That it's just not competitive. That uh, not as many people are. uh, The ratings were up this year compared to last year, but they're still way down. So what I understand understand is these guys don't want to get hurt. Yeah. Wait, whatever. Kobe Bryant said that they don't. They play tougher pickup games at UCLA than the All Star Game. Like when Kobe Bryant stopped playing. They really got soft. Well, those guys that were I was just watching, they didn't shit. even jump when he was going to go shoot. He, they look like me on the court. That's what I do. I yeah, walk yeah. over there and I stick my hand in the air, and I don't even jump. It's like like so. I know they ain't trying because that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. They yeah the NBA got soft since Kobe left. It ain't been the same. I'll give it to you. Yeah. Oh well. I don't watch it. Here comes MLS. Get ready for it. Yeah. Soccer. Yeah. Are you getting a local team? Uh, Naples is supposed to be getting yeah. a, a team. I heard. But you still got the team in uh, Tampa, right? <laughs> Rainbow's going to be out there waving the flag, boy. They got one in Miami, too. Well, yeah, man, Orlando. they just the picked Orlando up City. like a, a world-renowned player. Wasn't it Messi that they Messi? got down in Miami? Yeah, that motherfucker always hurt, too, his old ass. He yeah, just come here and get a paycheck. I ain't yeah, mad at him. Of course, yeah, sure. the hustle, I would, but... too. Anybody want to hire me? Yeah, you always say That's a soccer player you're talking about? Messi? I'll be hurt. Yeah, Lionel yeah. Messi. The boy's true, boy. He's nice. Yeah, he's one of the best. He's nice. Ever. He's an American soccer player? No, he's uh, Argentinian. Yeah, yeah, yeah Messi. Messi. How many people do you know named fucking Messi? Yeah, you know Messi America, from uh, Messi from Gary, Indiana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they know that Messi. There's yeah. some people with some weird-ass names in America M-E-S-I. now. M-E-S-I. Well, yeah, of course. True. Hey, I think it's that, I double know. S. Rainbow. M-E-S-S-I. Is there two S's? Yeah, it's two S's. S's. Rainbow's weird. I am. Let's move on to our next topic. <laughs> I'm sure maybe you've copped a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. Maybe you've uh, proudly showed off your Air Jordan. I had two per. Uh, you did yeah. have two per. Yeah. What about Look at uh, my African American over here? What, what, Look at what, him. What the fuck? What about our uh, Chuck Taylor All Stars? <laughs> I still rock them. 
Uh, these are some of the most iconic sneakers in the history of basketball shoes and, and shoes that you wear. Now there is a new pair of shoes that's going to be available. We found this out at the sneaker con where the golden high top sneakers, the Trumps, I don't know ah, exa exactly the what Trumps. the Trumps are called. I did everything right and they <laughs> need me. So uh, <laughs> don't th these Trumps are going oh, for hell no, no. $399. You know what? you want a pair of those T-Dogs. What? Look at them things. The I want to get them and play, use them to play out here. Hold on. They're you 400 got bucks. For some Air Force frauds? What are you doing? <laughs> now, there's a story I was going to put in my news, but I'll just talk about it now. That a Russian CEO won an autographed golden co uh, co signed copy of those. And he put much? A, he had a nine thousand dollar bid, and there was like a whole nine thousand bidding process. A Russian oligarch, issues. yeah, 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 Russian CEO, Putin's boy, Listen, Roman Sharf. You know what? Founder it, of CEO luxury watch dealer, Luxury Bazaar, yeah. walked away with an autographed pair of Trump's golden Never Surrender high tops. For what? <laughs> Never surrender. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. what the, that's what yeah, the shoes yeah. are called. <laughs> Never surrender. Never Not in those shoes, because then you. Yeah. You know, <laughs> do we you're definitely you don't want to steal your shoes? You're yeah. definitely getting These are four hundred dollars shoes. Yeah, no surrender. Them them them, them new January six. You just tell them it's not real January gold. January six. It's not real gold. The those insurrection. The, the new J sixes. I don't like January the gold. 6th. I don't like the gold color. Do we have Do we have the tape of uh, Donald Trump at the sneaker con in Philadelphia? Here we go. Roll the tape. Roll that beautiful Hello, B footage. Thank you very much. And we have a few young ladies that are up here crying. Like They're you very shiny. You with the Trump 2024. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, people were getting emotional at this wow. thing. Oh, no, he paid emotion. them to be there. There's a lot of emotion in this room. Thank you. Look, I hear all the booze. booze. Thank yeah. you. It's not booze, dude. So, no, I hear booze. So the really it's nice booze. thing is we have lines, and I want to thank you. Need to can, we, booze. can we listen to the damn we former have president? Lines yeah. going all of lines. Thank you. So nice. So the really nice thing is we have lines, and I want to thank Chase, and I want to thank Alan, but we have lines going all around the block. They're going all around this block. They've never seen anything like this one. <laughs> That's one I of his famous lines. I just want to tell you, you know, I've wanted to do this for a long time. I have some incredible people that work with me on things, and they came up with this, and this is something I've been talking about for 12 years, 13 years, and I think it's going to be a big success. Your influencers have been very positive. They've been real influencers, and they love it, and they love what we've done. I just don't like the gold. That's the real deal. Make them white. That's Maybe. the real deal. So you think about that, up here? The Never Surrender Not High for Top dollars. Sneaker. Hey, they, hey, <laughs> hey, you're going to find them on the rack in Ross real quick. Yeah. Those are going to be collector's <laughs> items. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey man, nah, nah. You guys got such TDS, man. Uh, Y'all are some haters. They don't dry hate. Yeah, no, I think it's, I think they're awesome. Right, and they indicted me. <laughs> think they think they great? They did. Yeah. Oh, man, God. first they off, did. and it's hey, all whatever. a bunch of bullshit. Sure, whatever, you know what? All the like, indictments are a bunch of bullshit. Well, That's bullshit look, right there. Look, you should watch believe, some real news, bro. I would believe it if he put those shoes on and walk around in them. Yeah, let's not even talk about. Are we going to keep playing the same samples over? <laughs> yeah, is he going to put them on? So the samples. gym shoes are honestly. I, I'll I'll tell you this: if Nike put out a gym shoe that looked exactly like that, they probably won't. He did sell steal well. their design. They wouldn't sell well. That. They're just yeah, they're, too, they're they're too shiny. Those are yeah, some ugly looking ass. Air he should. Force I mean, like, if he want, if he was really calls. serious about putting out the shoe, he should have. He's got the money Regular supposedly. Color. He should. Well, not regular. Right, just have a nice designer sit down with him and make like a nice shoe. But like why a nice, would he do that? Everything mm -hmm. he done has been well, trash. Well, I'm in just. The first I'm just saying. I, I'm just giving my opinion. I like, yeah, hell, know. not anybody. Well, somebody gonna out wear them ugly ass shoes and don't. In Russia. Listen, I hope you don't play basketball in because you try to make a cut. Them shit's gonna bust inside open. You're gonna tear up your damn Achilles and shit. Fuck around and find out. You should have had some Trump pumps, you know? Some Trump pumps. Uh, yeah, that would have been fun. Pumps. That's a really good See? idea. Insert, See what I'm saying? Insert jail sale sign. No, he's right good there. if he gets the pump shoes. Uh, no, hell no. This newscast, uh, our big newsman, Tomcat, is gonna give you the not so good news. But before that, we must thank this our sponsor. It's uh, brought to you by BetterHelp. Online therapy, fast, easy, convenient. You get to pick your therapist. If you're not happy, you can swap out your therapist at any time for no additional charge. Just go to betterhelp.com slash outcast and save 10% on your first month's therapy. Tomcat, what do you have for us today in Let's the news? Let's do the news then. 
Uh, this is the news for February 21st, 2024. I like it. We don't got any uh, birthdays today that are worth mentioning, but on this day in history, <laughs> bad God news, damn. 1965, oh, no. Malcolm X was assassinated. Oh, mm. that's uh, terrible. Also, back on this day, actually yesterday in history, the Battle of Fort Myers, which is the city where we are now. Interesting. Very interesting, which was the southernmost land war in the Civil War, happened right here, downtown Fort Myers I on... Second Street. Yes. Right? Checking back, looking back about the Battle of Fort Myers, just 250 Union soldiers defended Fort Myers because they were blocking the cattle. We had all the cattle, and they were blocking the uh, the Confederate Army from getting the cattle. So the Union soldiers were here in Fort Myers, and they successfully defended 500 from 500 Confederate soldiers who were trying to get through here and take over the fort and get the cattle. So well, that, like that another was L to me, and they won another one, huh? The Battle of Fort Myers. Awesome, they, man. They That's won pretty another cool. Civil yeah. War, huh? It, I mean, it, it's mm. it's fun to hear about, you know, where we live. There's a lot of history here. That's crazy that yeah. that happened right there on second. They had two cannons and 500 soldiers and 250 Union soldiers That's were crazy. here in Fort Myers and held off Fort Myers. That's All awesome. right, so on to my news. Uh, my first story is Madonna falls backwards on stage after a dancer mishap. We got a video? She handles what? it like a pro. Here's the video. Check it out. Pop stars laughing the fall off, which happened during a performance of Open Your Heart at oh. her Seattle tour stop. <laughs> Open your heart. I find this funny. The dude, the dude just kind of gets up and walks away. He's like, and she's good. Peace. <laughs> well, he does a little move, then he's like, peace. Oh, that's a guy? I thought that was her. I well, thought that was a chick. It's oh. a thing. Well, I mean, Madonna got that old <laughs> hey, fake easy ass. Easy now. Have you seen her? Look Don't be rude. Ass. I think that was the right She one. got that fake uh, BBL going on. She'd be all right. Next video is Pet Shop Attack. Police are looking for a woman who was caught on camera kicking puppies in their kennels and slapping oh, no. a she, a woman in the face who was on... She's a cat She lady. was on holiday in New York. <laughs> she was just standing in the puppy shop. And all of a sudden, this lady goes berserk in the puppy shop. I don't know if the video is going to come up here. Is that a puppy? That's one ugly dog. Here she dog. goes. Oh. Boom. What the fuck? She smacked the camera, too. Then, then she punches this lady who's just a tourist. Pow! Pow! She, oh, the slap the shit out of her. She could use better help. And then, uh, yeah, she can. She going to get it, though. They're still looking for this lady. Pretty crazy, right? Well, they better That's be New careful. That's New York City she might, where that She happened. might smack them. No shit. How do you fight somebody in puppy land? All right, right, this is a wild story. A report from CBS News this week said the documents reportedly show Abraham Lincoln pardoned Joe Biden's great-grandfather after a Civil War era brawl. Apparently, Ooh. Joe Biden's great-granddaddy got into a brawl where he killed a dude, <laughs> and then they locked his ass up and were charging him with murder. Long story short, and three guys petitioned Abraham Lincoln, generals petitioned Abraham Lincoln to let Joe Biden's great-granddaddy go, and he pardoned him and let him go. Awesome. Great-granddaddy well, Joe Biden. Oh, Lucifer my. Jones and Cepheus Hunter Biden. Now you know where he gets that killer instinct from. Uh, my last story here is uh, about the dunk contest. Oh. Mac McClung dunks over Shaquille O'Neal to win the 2024 NBA Slam I Dunk Contest. This. And here's the dunk that wins the contest. He's actually won this two years in a row. This is the second year he's won it. Gee, and it's pretty cool because this guy's only 6'1. Shaq is 7'1. So this is a pretty wild, pretty wild dunk, and uh, he got a f score of 50 from all the judges, which is a perfect score for this dunk, winning the contest. Duke. Behind that back jam. He plays in the D League. He's not, he's not, not, sack, even not the touching NBA. the head. Touched his hands, though. I guess yeah. they call it the G League. He now, definitely got yeah. satchel on yeah. his hands right here. A satchel. That was nice. Nice dunk. That was. People have done that before, though, jumped over Shaq. There was another player that did the same thing on the same night. Was he 6'1"? I don't know how tall the other guy was. And was he? Well, let's just jump over El Blanco? Shaq and win a dunk contest. Man, the dunk contest ain't shit. I like what Steph and Sabrina did, though. The three-point? Yeah, I watched some uh, footage of that. That was dope. That was worth it. Yeah. G could be in that. It's wild though being six one and winning the dunk contest. I'm six one. Hey, Spud I can't Webb fucking. Won it. I can't even get near the rim. You can ba you can barely touch the net, <laughs> dude. Six one, my height, dunk, dunk, winning the dunk contest. He, he likes to play more to the white ground. White men can't jump, so they say. Well, well apparently he can't because Matt McClung, he's a white boy. He, 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 he got up. He, he got, got up. Ups. He got up. He you might have it. to wear some of them weighted. We're gonna have to check him for that Neuralink thing. Have you ever Ooh, seen? I don't know kidding. if uh, back in the truck we could find this quickly, but uh, Spud Webb won the dunk contest. Oh yes, yeah, Spud Webb. Was he like and five like, three? Look up the 1986 dunk contest. Like five one, five Spud three. Spud Webb. No, nah, he was like five five, five, five seven. Five, five seven. seven. Oh, 
That's yeah. some, he about my height. He was the shortest player shorter. in NBA history to win the dunk contest. There he is. Here he is, Spud five Webb. foot seven, Spud Webb. Look at that. This guy is five foot seven, and watch him. Look at these ups. Ups. How does he do that? Like got uh, some serious ups. 1986, when he won the dunk contest, five foot seven. Look at those hops. I remember though Michael Jordan like jumping from what the free, three, the free throw, throw the free throw line, line yeah, and that, that, that picture. Yeah. Yeah, in my With office. I, I have a that's that picture signed in my office. That's, if you ever had a pair of Jordans, high. that's the uh, that's the logo. Well, it is. Yeah, he beat Dominique Wilkins that which year. Which was his teammate. And Dominique was not. Yeah, the lightweight dude. Yeah, the uh, human highlight reel. <laughs> he was not lightweight. That is nuts. <laughs> Yeah, that that's nuts. Uh, that's so, crazy. so six foot one, uh, the guy that just won it is four inches taller than uh, Spud Webb. Spud Webb, Maybe yeah, that's even crazy, five man. inches taller. Hey yes. man, it's all. If you believe you can do it, you want to do it. I, don't I know. believe I, don't I can fly. Agree. Or you can get your leg. You can break your own legs and get them extended like that one goofy ass dude. Did y'all hear about that? The dude that broke his own legs. They got extensions. Yes. And it hit this motherfucker like seven foot four or whatever the hell. Dumbass. Some weird ass. Doing, the, doing the stanky leg. Well, Do the stanky it, leg. I remember that his song. His leg break. It's going to stank. Yes, Ouch. it will. Yes, it will. Ouch. That's going to do it. We're wrapping it up here. Uh, another episode of the Outcast no, podcast in the can. <laughs> <laughs> we never wrap it up when we're in the can. Where's our, where's our song? Let's do our song. <laughs> I lost my paper. Uh, we're the Outcast podcast. We did fucking do We did fucking I, 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 I was really looking forward to that hook too, man. I think we need to work on our, it. our hook. I, yeah. I thought we was gonna get it the second time. Apparently not. Not today. <laughs> per, personally, Yo. I feel like the white guy was the most on beat. It would be me. Time yeah, you out. did good. You did good. He well, was over there practicing not, for like an hour. <laughs> not only that, yeah, you were the only one that got to do it a few times before I, I we got actually to do it one time before. I yeah, think okay. it was more than once. We didn't get a chance uh, the white guy, the best it. rapper, once again, Eminem, number one rapper. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. We, we, I don't we know. I think I flowed pretty from, far. We're gonna extract that I thought my flow was dope. What's up? See you next week. God's will. Got it. 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 Got it.